So I want to kind of work backwards on this problem and in this video it's going to start with what the solution is and end with what the problem was that this solution worked out for. Um, <clears throat> the solution to the connection problem is the end of cycle, timeout, or uh, new trigger. It was previously set just to new trigger and that would prevent the web link connection from being made. So um, again, let's just go through what this is doing. It's reading and it's, it's reading multiple times, but we're only getting a single output. So the output data is only sent when there is a new code. So you'll see it go green when it recognizes there's a new code and then the output data shows what that code is. <clears throat> that is the intent. Why did we get two codes? I don't know. Uh, that's a new issue. Maybe it's because I have too many different code types running. So I know that we don't need a code 39 or a code 93 and you know, I thought this said 12 of 5. It says interleaves 2 of 5. So, yeah, I'm an idiot. But in any case, this code is a 2 of 5. Um, we don't need UPC. We don't need QR code. So we're going to leave data matrix and I 2 of 5. <clears throat> and we should get... Oh, there, see? Now, this is the same one I was just repeating and even though it recognized it it knew that that was the same one as before so it did not transmit it um, there that one got transmitted you can see in the data output and it's the same code I'm going to repeat that and it's reading on the image and it's not outputting the data because it knows it's the same code that's exactly what we want um, <clears throat> that happens because the continuous read with one output trigger type is set. The end um, cycle on previously was set to new trigger. And when this is set, we can't connect in the web link connection. So the, the web page doesn't seem to want to connect. It still does the same thing as far as you get one one read and take it away and then another read. It seems to be a little bit slower though, which is actually something I'm only just now noticing. That's very weird. Uh, but in any case, we don't want the end cycle on new trigger only. Let's make sure that really was the setting that was set. Yep, okay, and I'm switching codes. And there it is, reads. Okay, taking that away, and put the same code back up. <clears throat> and it sees it on the screen, but it doesn't output it. <sighs> but for whatever reason, this, this uh, end cycle on new trigger seems to just overwhelm the processor. I'm not sure what that does. Timeout by itself sounded like that was gonna be a good solution. Um, but what I found was, look at how many times this is outputting. Even though it's continuous read with one output, it doesn't care. It just keeps outputting the same thing over and over. Nope, that's no good. We don't want that. So, let's go to timeout or new trigger. New trigger is the one that works, but swarms or uh, preoccupies the CPU. But timeout as an option seems to solve that problem and you know how much faster the image is coming back. Um, just as a side note, I thought that changing the capture mode delay between images to some value greater than zero, like say 45 milliseconds or 95 milliseconds or something like that, would do what is happening now where there's more time for the processor. That's not what happened at all. Um, Turns out it needs this timeout 
And I picked 333 milliseconds, which it didn't like, so it bumped it up to 340. I've had values in there from a second and a half down to 200 milliseconds. They all seem to be okay. So I just set it on 340. Uh, and again, that response on the screen seems to be a whole lot faster than it is when it's just new trigger. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm going to disconnect this. Um, we'll make a new tab and, and it connects, which is great because this was the problem that I was having for days where it would not connect. To illustrate that, just to make sure that it's all part of the same video, I'm going to recreate that problem and change this to new trigger. And again, we know that the CPU seems to be completely preoccupied because it's not even updating the image. And I'm going to disconnect. Blah. That's better than I got most of the time. Most of the time, I didn't even get this far. And I'm going to try to get it to read. And let's see if it'll, let's see if it'll trick it into connecting. Because sometimes just reading a barcode would be enough to trick it into connecting. Nope, nothing, 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 nothing. All right. So I got a 2D code, and oh man, I hope this works. There we go. This 2D code just is a bunch of K commands that um, would have normally reset the, con the, the barcode reader, but for whatever mode it's in, it seems to be ignoring the fact that it's supposed to reset. I'm happy about that. That's fine, because that's the only way to get in to weblink when the end cycle on new trigger setting is active. So we're going to go back to the correct end cycle on timeout or new trigger and save that setting. That's, that's it. I think that's okay. Just needed to document this for anybody else that's having this problem.